there is something that is essentially inescapable around the world. I think it is sick and twisted. It is constantly hurting people and ruining futures. It isn't a virus. It isn't a bug. It's discrimination. Discrimination affects everyone in one way or another, and some more than others. Some people have to work 10 times as hard to get to the same exact place somebody else had handed to them. Others live a life suppressed and hurt. It isn't okay and it needs to come to an end. The thing is, the end is in our own hands. When most people hear the word discrimination, they think racism or sexism, but it is so much bigger than that. It is any act of prejudice against a person because they are different. Yes, that means it is not limited to minorities. In fact, one of the most followed religions, Christianity, is slowly becoming more and more hated and discriminated against. However, it is still incomparable to the discrimination most minorities experience. Discrimination is taught to us when we are children, meaning a child may learn to discriminate or a child will learn what it's like to be discriminated against. In both ways, it works like a domino effect. If two parents raise their children discriminating against others, chances are those kids will follow blindly right in their footsteps. Later in life, they'll have kids and teach them to do the same exact thing. On the other hand, people who get discriminated against tend to grow up stressed out, anxious, depressed, or a mix of the three. Then those people grow up to have children and take those characteristics with them into their parenting life. Thus, they raise their children in an aggravated manner, and their children, just like the former, follow in their footsteps. This cycle is never-ending in many households, and it wreaks havoc in so many families. I know this is no good news at all, but there is a silver lining. It only takes a few acts of selflessness, caringness, or courage to get this ball rolling to the end of the era. I don't know who you are, whether you are someone who witnesses it every once in a while, or maybe you're someone who is victim to it every single day. You could even be the person who is discriminating against others. No matter who you are, I implore you, think about what you can do to bring it to a stop. Stand up for that person that you saw get made fun of for their religion. Stand up for yourself. Make a change for the better. At this point, it isn't just a change for you. It is a start of a change for the future.